Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am here today, I hope you guessed it, for an unboxing. If you've never been to my channel before, my name is Ariane Arsenault. I am a soap maker based in Quebec, Canada. Yes, I am a uh, French Canadian and I share videos of my process and also of the tools and equipment and ingredients that I use in my soap making journey in order to help other makers. So without further ado, let's open this big box that I received by one of my suppliers for equipment called Custom Craft Tools. Um, this is probably the largest box I've gotten in a long time. <laughs> I have placed an order with custom craft tools before the holidays and <laughs> this box has been all over the place. We thought it was lost at some point, <laughs> but it finally made it. And this, the, con the content of this box will probably make lots of soap makers happy. Oh my goodness. Oh, this box is huge. The classic spatulas. <laughs> I'm gonna need to step up because <laughs> this is so big. Okay. Olympus. It is a large slab soap log splitter and I am so happy ooh, to unbox it because the one that I use at the moment um, was by a company called For Craft Six and they closed last year. So whenever I cut a slab of soap, everybody's asking me, where did you get your log splitter? And I'm like, ah, they're closed. <laughs> and so this new Log Splitter by Custom Craft Tools comes in a very good timing because there weren't any on the market that was meeting my expectancies. <laughs> One thing that I really like about Custom Craft Tools is that they really take the pulse of the industry when they create tools for soap makers. So they will talk to soap makers and ask us what we need in terms of equipment like what features need to be on their tools and um, I did have lots of discussions with Alex one of the owners uh, about the log splitter and I'm sure she has asked other makers what they need and she came up with this and I'm so excited to try it now let's let's unwrap unwrap it oh I also have a new mold in here that I'm gonna show you in a minute <laughs> <laughs> wow, I have set the Olympus on its side because I'm going to proceed and place the wires back in position. But before we do so, I will show you the other items that were in the box. This is the Nara mold. It's a smaller slab version. I had this one custom made so it would have a transparent liner and one transparent side so that when I do my demos, well, there's a, a paper that I have to peel off here so you can't see right now, but uh, when I do my demos, people can actually see the soap as I work my way up and through the mold. So that's gonna be pretty awesome. Um, we decided to do just one side transparent because that's all we need. And also the texture is better for removing the liner with the other material that they use. So yay. <laughs> And then here I have a whole bunch of hanger tools. Now these hangers are going to allow me to swirl in the narrow mold as well as in my uh, bigger slab molds both ways. So that's why I have so many hanger tools. These two are for the narrow mold. And these two 
are for my Goliath slab molds. Now, um, this was all very well packed. There is a lot of bubble wrap here. I'm gonna fold this all back neatly, bring it downstairs where I pack my online orders, and this will be repurposed and it will not go to waste. Don't worry. Oh, and I got a tiny, tiny little mold. I gotta show you that. Voila. And this will go here. And then this hanger is made to fit on this side and this one on uh, this side. So I am fully equipped in hanger tools now. <laughs> and here's the tiny mold I got. So it has a skull pattern on the bottom. And these little molds are really nice for when you have extra soap, you don't know where to pour it. You just pour it in there and save that extra soap. Now let's move on to positioning the wires in the Olympus. And I have removed the middle part of the cutter to do so. I'm just gonna untape my little wires here. This love splitter can be custom uh, adjusted to your slab of soap. I chose to have mine spaced at 3.5 inches. So the, the keys here are adjusted just for that, but you see all of these hole placements. So if you like to cut your soaps at 2.5 inches, you can also do so. You would just need to change the middle part uh, of the cutter. So when you order your cutter, you have to let them know which spacement you would like and they will custom build it for you, but it can be modified. So if I wanted to cut at a different width, I could order another centerpiece and then just make the adjustments on my cutter. So first I'm gonna slide my wire right in here. So the little loop here or the little knot here keeps it from going up. And then we have a bearing up on the other side right here. So this goes onto the bearing and then oop, into, into the key like that. So it would actually fit on this side and we're gonna, I'm gonna give it some loose so that I can actually tighten the key. And that's why I had goggles on my head earlier because when I work with wires like this, I always wear security goggles just in case anything pops. So I'm gonna pull the string up to build some tension and eventually I will cut this, but not right now, just in case I didn't have enough loose. And we're just gonna twist it until it is nice and tight. And I'm just gonna cut the extra off. Oops, like that. And then bend it sideways to get the pokey side out of the way. And do the same for the third wire. And notice that there are five keys, but I'm only using three of them. So you can custom uh, adjust this to cut up to six loaves. So five five uh, guitar strings will be able to make you a six loaf, depending on how wide you cut your soap. The main difference between this log splitter and the one I used previously is that the other one, the table slides through the wires when you push. This one, the wires slide across the loaf of soap and the table or the base is fixed. 
So that's a really, really big difference. I'm really excited to try it. Unfortunately, I don't have any soap to cut right now, but I will make some soap soon so that we can try it together. I am really, really looking forward to testing this because when I pushed my other one on the table, sometimes it would kind of like want to tilt and I would have to always like push and then bring the slab, uh, the log splitter back towards me. Anyways, this should fix many issues. It can accommodate a slab of 14 by 16 inches, maybe even more. Let's see. I guess this could go all the way up to 15 inches wide, or they just added a little extra so that your 14 by 16 is not like feeling tight in there. Um, and then actually this goes all the way to 17 inches that can be cut. So, but again, there's like one extra inch to make place for the slab and to be able to cut through. So maybe I would stick with my 14 by 16 inch soap, but that's really weird. I want to push on this, but there's nothing to push. It's, it's all here. <laughs> the feet on the bottom are very stable. Also, this is not sliding on the table, which I really, really like. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, uh, maybe something that I did not cover during the unboxing and setting up of my new Olympus lug splitter by Custom Craft Tools, leave it in the comments and I will make sure that Alex, the creator of these amazing tools, jumps in the conversation uh, and answers all of your questions and, or I will ask her and then answer your questions. But this is a great tool. I'm looking forward to trying my mold. Um, actually, this one is going to be with me in Hartford for the HSCG conference as I will be making layered soap and I wanted people to be able to see the layers building up. So this one is going to be traveling with me. I will also be using it on the channel for sure. If you would like to purchase any of the equipment that I've shown you today, I have a link in the description box. I am an affiliate for Custom Craft Tools. So when you buy their tools with my links, it gives me a small commission and it helps to support my channel and my livelihood. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you again very soon and I will be cutting some soap.